Well, we always had an opportunity for ventures, and uh, one of the first ones I remember is the West End News in Louisville, and uh, it was delivered in the West End, and that's where we live. And uh, that was after school on Thursdays. And one of the things that they encouraged you to do was to get subscriptions. It was a free paper, but if uh, somebody wanted to make sure they received a copy of it, it was 10 cents a month. So that was a little entrepreneurship there that uh, you were trying to increase your, your customers and always made sure they got a paper. But uh, I just moved along. Uh, anytime there was an opening that somebody was looking for a stock boy or a, a delivery boy, the drug stores at that time used to deliver nights, weekends, and uh, so um, I just always were was looking to make money. It's been a long journey in a way. Uh, my wife and I got married very young in today's world. Uh, I was 21, she was 20, and uh, so we started on that journey. I got out of school, U of L, in three years, and I recommend that to anybody. You know, they don't pay you for going to school, you pay them. So the quicker you can get out, so I got a bachelor's degree in three years and got the outstanding award for management in a school of business. And then uh, we got married, went to the University of Miami, Florida, and got an MBA down there, one year law school, and then came back to Louisville and uh, completed night law school. That was a, a very good thing. So that started us on our way. I got out of, out of school with three degrees, four children, 26 years old, and decided I'd like to teach college. So signed up for that and went to uh, uh, the University of the Cumberlands and and uh, taught school and then began to work the career. I was always ambitious. Uh, teachers don't have to spend a lot of time teaching and uh, so I uh, started practicing a little law part-time and, uh, and meeting these various people and that, uh, that went on for a couple of years and then I cut back to part-time teaching and began to uh, work the entrepreneurship side of the story and, uh, and went on from there. Right now we have basically uh, eight companies uh, with the healthcare, I mean they're not companies but they're groupings of, uh, of situations, but we have a healthcare division which has uh, nine skilled nursing homes in eastern Kentucky and a pharmacy. A national bank which is now crossed over the billion dollar mark. We have ventured off in small loan companies, uh, uh, radio stations. We have the largest number of radio stations uh, in Kentucky, owned by Kentuckians. To me, the fun is um, just going to work. Uh, now, my schedule right now is I go to bed around 7, sleep at 7.30, up at 3.30 in the morning. I've got to walk my dog and <laughs> get some things going. I'm in the office by 20 minutes to uh, 6 and uh, I start calling. And this is really the thing that peps you up. I mean, you come dragging out at 3.30 in the morning. But if you talk to, and I talk to about 20 people between uh, uh, 5.30 and uh, uh, say 8.15, and you are finding out what's going on, that really gets you going. And I'd say that's the fun part. Uh, I don't know of anything else that really compares with it, uh, having a business, watching it grow. I think right now has really been the best place to operate in Kentucky. Uh, Governor Bevan uh, is very pro-business uh, and he is very, very persuasive on bringing new businesses to Kentucky. It, it, it's a good state, it, it flows well, uh, small towns, and, uh, and you get to know people, and you can network across Kentucky pretty fast. Our organization is really based on uh, uh, openness, and uh, our people are able to uh, uh, look at uh, what we're doing. We really like to encourage the energy from bottom up rather than top down. Everybody stays 
uh, in the limelight. They all have uh, uh, jobs that they do, and uh, I wouldn't even attempt to at times tell them how to do it. Eddie uh, Woodruff, for example, in the marketing department, I, I don't know anything about marketing, but he does. So uh, that's, that's a part of what you do in the banking and other things. I mean, I'm not talking to people in nursing homes. You're not taking care of patients. So you cannot get down in the weeds. Again, we don't like to shut doors. We don't like to uh, uh, have special meetings, try not to uh, make fun of people and uh, try to hire right and be approachable. I mean, we are as a company very approachable. Uh, you can come into any meeting. We invite you to do that. I, I would recommend to anyone that you get some kind of skill. It doesn't matter what it is. And Lord knows I don't have much. You, you do the best you can, but if you have this skill, somebody will look for you, whether you're a plumber or welder or mechanic or what it is, uh, IT, uh, uh, somebody will want you and you will want a partner. And I, I think that gets you started. It's different strokes for different folks and uh, encourage anybody to follow their own trail. Focus on what you're doing. I was never in a hurry particularly. And you just have to sort of take steps as you go. It's a long journey, and as I tell people, uh, I never intend on retiring. I mean, it's just not something I'm going to do. And so uh, it just doesn't occur to me that uh, you don't have more time to, to uh, get done what you set out to do. It's a, it's a lifestyle. I mean, it's, it's an identity. You walk down the street, you know, there goes Joe Blow, you know, he runs a business. Or Joe Blow, he lays out and doesn't do anything drunk at night. Uh, so it's an identity for you and uh, I find that to be very comforting what you do in the way of business, uh, entrepreneurship, creating companies. It means that you're creating jobs. We have about, I don't know, it depends on how you count it, but full-time equivalent, maybe uh, 2,600 people, uh, families. and. Uh, so uh, that's inspiring, and you don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day money problems that, other, that you might run into otherwise and emergencies that come up. So at the end of the day, I think you want to just keep going. I want on my tombstone. He regrets that he could have not worked one more day <laughs> because I really enjoy it. You know, it's just a part of what's there. and. Uh, it, it's exciting and it's always something. I mean, uh, someone has said running a company is not fun most of the time, and it's not. You know, you're you're having to shovel out the the barn, but uh, but it does create uh, a reason for being and uh, challenges that that uh, move you forward. Look at it for the long run and take your time.